I am standing here with the incredible cast of CODA. If you haven't seen CODA, you must see it. I am just so honored. I love your film so much. Now, can I start with Troy? Troy, you are the very first um, male, deaf male actor to be nominated for an Academy Award ever. And you have said that after seeing Marley Matlin in Children of a Lesser God, that one day you would be nominated for an Oscar and would win. How does it feel? to work with her? How does it feel to be here tonight? Well, when I was younger, I was about 17 years old, and so it was the first time seeing that type of authenticity. You know, it shows the age we are now, but when I saw this first authentic deaf role on the big screen and then actually winning an Oscar, it was extremely inspiring. It kept my hope alive. And as a representative in Hollywood for deaf folks, I thought it was just a matter of time. So I was so great. I'm so grateful to Marley for fighting and making the change for the better. And now I never thought that one day I'd be here today, and I am. So I feel so blessed to be here next to Marley. You're <laughs> so cool. My parents are so cool. That's all I can say. Amazing. Don't forget that we're hot parents. <laughs> Marley says, "Don't forget that we're hot parents." Now, Marley, you are such an incredible advocate for diversity and um, authentic representation in front of and behind the camera, and you were such an advocate on this film. Can you talk to us about how important that continues to be for you? Well, immediately when I saw the script, I knew that this was important because there are three deaf characters carrying the film, and that's quite unusual, and so I was jumping for joy, and then I thought to myself, okay, who would be perfect as the roles that we had here, and I thought immediately of Troy. And when I heard that the studio, before uh, we got on board to the independent production, was thinking perhaps of having a hearing actor play the deaf actors, I said no. And that was the first time I've actually spoken out like that. I mean, if you would have done that, I would have backed out. It's been too long that people have been playing deaf, and it's now our time. And that's what I'm doing right now, talking about it. That's so beautiful. Thank you so much. I love this movie so much. You know, I, lo I know Sean from a long time ago, and I'm so happy for you. Have the time of your life tonight. She loves you, Sean. I love you too. I love you all. Congratulations. You were so beautiful in this film. Brilliant. I just, I cried, I laughed, everything. <laughs>